elemental engagement is core to Hawaiian lifeways. <laughs> Our air and our water and our soil are sacred. To aloha aina and to love these things is critical because literally our bodies are made of the molecules that we immerse ourselves with and consume. And here at Kipuko Oluwalu, it's just a magnificent place to feel the magnitude of that elemental engagement in some of its fullest forms. I've done several lo'i restoration projects. This one happens to be close to my soul. Growing up here, I have many fond memories of traveling through here. We'll be able to provide sustenance to our family and seeing the others, bringing others in here. They're feeling their internal compass, the kahea, is calling them back. My background is really big native Hawaiian plants, and that's what this place is full of. And this place was completely filled with invasive species. When I brought the team in, it was, okay, take these out but please leave this, these are critically important. Once we began the removal of the invasives, we saw this huge uptick in the native plants wanting to give back, seeing seedlings come up. Immediately, within a few days, we saw a number of butterflies just show up on property and setting chrysalis and seeing bees. There were no bees when we first started and the bees came in and just started pollinating everything. We put the energy back, but now nature's really kicking in and reestablishing itself. We like to flood the lo'i to bring the life back to it. The water is filled with microorganisms that all start floating to the surface immediately, and we can see the living water, Hevai Ola, as it's gathered right from the river here in Olawalu. It's not like the piped water with you know, all the other chlorine and other additives to it. It's just this perfect water. To be able to see that water nourishing plants, and they're, they're sprouting out of the earth all over the place without even us having to nurture them. They're ready to go. They're really appreciating the energy, I think, of all the hard work. It's a joy because we end the day better than when we got there. We're usually really tired. We do a little oli at the end and pump everything back up. So on the way out the door, we're more inspired than when we got there in the morning. We dream about this place. We come from all different levels and walks of life. By engaging in this together, we activate something in ourselves and outwardly. And it just helps us to, to bond and it helps us to bond to this space. My greatest inspiration of the project is to see the youth in this 2020 uh, inspired and excited and some of them go off on their weekends and they're like, oh, we were looking at Ali'i up in Poli Poli. You know, like, so it's spreading beyond just this work site. Lately, I've been trying to be mindful of asking and then answering, what is my purpose here? What is my function? Um, Sorry, that's silly. <laughs> and how are we all interfacing to be of service to this space, to um, make it productive and make it special? It's always inherently special. And this place has always been a place of um, deep mana and deep stories. And it's how does that relationship continue to build and what nourishment can we gain from that?